Uh, round 21 match of the day was the third and final Fremantle Derby for season 2012. South Fremantle have won their last two games, brought good form into this afternoon's match. East Fremantle were coming off a bye, and the week before that were trounced by more than 15 goals at the hands of Claremont. Well, like all Fremantle derbies, there is a lot more at stake than just the four points, and that was clear from the very start of this match. East Fremantle were the first into attack, and a great snap by Brock O'Brien, who had a very, very good game in attack for East Fremantle. He kicked three for the afternoon, and that was a brilliant snap across his body. South Fremantle continued to try hard. East Fremantle just had the edge on class. Sean Tyre having a terrific season, combining there with Paul Magumba, and then young Sean Buick, who's had an excellent season for South Fremantle since crossing from West Perth. The battle in the middle of the ground was pretty even throughout. Generally speaking, across most of the positions on the ground, East Fremantle just uh, had a little bit more to offer than South Fremantle. Kobe Stevens there, a great running goal. We know how good he is in situations like that. It was a 15-point break in favour of East Fremantle at quarter time. They just had enough specialists around the ground, a few incidents of brilliance there, like Callum Leslie combining, combining with Brad Dick to get enough of a break on the scoreboard. South Fremantle fought back in the second quarter, they trailed by just 11 points at half time, so we were certainly going to be set for a terrific second half. There's Brad Dick kicking one of his uh, two goals for the afternoon, probably one of the goals of the afternoon. Always a great contestant, Paul Magumba, and young Woods, Jaden Woods from uh, South Fremantle, who started his footy at Claremont, combined with Magumba there. A little bit of brilliance from Paul Magumba getting one back. Certainly, South Fremantle were always in the contest. They trailed by 13 points at three quarter time, but early goals in the final turn to Brad Dick. Some of his brilliance on display there. Looked to make it pretty easy for East Fremantle, but South Fremantle would not be denied. Believe it or not, they just continued to come. Some of it didn't look pretty. Hard work in the forward line, some lucky handballs, some brilliance by Jaden Wood once again with one of the snaps of the afternoon, and South Fremantle just kept on coming. They would not stop. It was a long quarter, the final one, and South Fremantle were able to kick the last five goals of the day. What a magnificent long kick there too from Ben Saunders, the league's leading goal goal kicker and South Fremantle got home in an absolute thriller much to the dismay of East Fremantle and their supporters. You can see the scorecard there that tells the tale of the match East Fremantle by 15 points at quarter time 11 at the half. They led by three, 13 points at three quarter time and then in a remarkable last quarter South Fremantle kicked six goals to the Sharks three to get home by four points. A remarkable game of footy. Well next week we're heading to Medibank Stadium. Our round 22 match of the day. The co-tenants, Subiaco and East Perth, the Lions and the Royals at Midibank Stadium and we'll be on air from 2pm.